La Salle's a good old place, we want you all to know. Her sons are all good fellows, as true as true can be. It's the habit they acquire in the college by the sea. Forty-three. Uh, we had just started the uh, World War II and, and what it did with the Philippines and uh, coming into high school in 43 was very much like day to day. Many of us came in from all parts of the town and we walked to school. So uh, that was part of it. We had to share the school with the girls in St. Scholastica, which I don't complain about it. We, the students, we had a lot of time. The rest of the day were home. Uh, we went out to swim the boulevard. When the war started, we were just a bunch of kids. And then all of a sudden, we were, we were thrust into uh, hard work, following the rules, obeying laws from the government that uh, had just come in. It was all a very different thing from before. We just had to grow up very fast. And so we look at this group that went through the war as strong. Strong from having grown up during the war years and never seeing adolescence. We just saw manhood through all of those years. Schooling in St. Scholastica was a very new experience. Well, oh, that was great. <laughs> we were strictly forbidden in our second floor classrooms to open the windows. Well, we were separated and we were warned not to mingle, but that was stupid. But you see, boys will be boys. So when the teacher's back was turned, you'd open the door. But every time you were naughty, the brothers would send you to the uh, garden and stand up there with your hands up for one hour or so. And of course they'd wave, they'd wave. After class, we used to go home in the Trambia, in the, and we all used to meet there, and boy, what fun. Whatever else, well, I can tell. So uh, to me, that, that was a, a good experience. We didn't have the building completely to ourselves. Part of the, uh, part of the building was occupied by the Women Army Corps. They were called WACs, Women's Auxiliary Corps. This got us into a lot of trouble. There were women walking around in various states of undress. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, in, there was interesting times. Now you talk about tits. <laughs> no, no, no comment, no comment because it would incriminate most of us. What separated us with the girls, particularly in the comfort rooms, was just a wall made of sawali. And let me tell you, there were as many holes in that sawali as there were classmates who were suspended. Well, animo means uh, courage, no? manfulness. Maybe you can call it macho. And that was uh, what made that. And the spirit, which was the one that used to bring up LaSalle up. Whether we lose or, or win, we always had the spirit to fight. And I think that's what brought us to where we were after the war. Isn't that something? We get together now many years after those days, and we still talk about those days in La Salle, sharing the third floor of the building with all these ladies. I think our class is one of the few that get together every time. In union there is strength, as they say. So, uh, believe in each other. That's part of the game. From the beginning, when we were in grade school up to college, we were always together, we used to crack jokes and, you know. Before, whenever we met, we talk about girls. And now when we meet, we talk about our sickness. And so every time we meet, it seems to me 
that it is a celebration of life. And that's what make us, makes us young, actually. Come whatever kind of weather, when the old gang gets together, that's the time to think of days gone by. Chase your blues and cares away, let's be happy, let's be gay, in our hearts the song will never die. Then the sun, we're looking for you, then the sun, oh can't you see, everyone of us is for you, we cheer you on to victory, rock, 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 and for the why, we will play. Our loyalty and the years have but came to the grand old name, Bella Sun, Bella Sun.